Hey guys, Anna here. So today's video is a request from one of you guys on how I create and use my watermarks. So if you're selling digitals or just want to put your stamp on your own product picture, I will show you my exact process on how I create my watermarks, uh, black and white versions. I must mention that my personal tool of choice is Canva Pro. And there is a link in the description box for a full free month if you want to use that. Um, however, if you don't have that pro version of Canva, you can still follow the steps and download the watermark picture, but it will not have a transparent background. You can try to remove it using any background remover out there, but I cannot guarantee it will be clean. All right, so with that out of the way, let's jump into my computer. So once you're logged into your Canva, go to create a design and we are going to make it 5000 by 5000, so the maximum. Now you have a few options. You can create your watermark with your logo. We're going to make one of those in black and the other version white we're going to make using some kind of words like do not copy, something like that. So let's start with the logo. You go to uploads. If you don't have your logo over here yet, you can upload file. All right, so you have your logo over here. Make it a little bit smaller. It's really up to you how you will position your watermark, but the point is you want to fill up all the space. Copy it and paste it. It will snap into place. Now, once you select all of them, you can just copy and paste it until you have a full page of your logos. All right, something like this. You can have um, as many as you want. If you don't like like four by five style like I did here, what you want to do is you want to highlight all of them and you want to click on group. The first logo is ready and we're going to export it a little bit later. And the second one, let's add a page. The second one, we will make white and we will make some kind of a wording. OK, so let's click on text, add a text box. Let's do something like do not copy and we're just going to repeat the process again. And as you drag it, Canva will help you with the sizing. You see the purple numbers and they're all the same, which means you have the same spacing in between all of those uh, rows. I'm going to make it all white. Now all we have to do is click on share. You have to go to download and this is where you need Canva Pro. You won't be able to download these files with transparent background if you don't have Canva Pro account, okay? But you may try to download it as a regular PNG. You may want to try any background remover out there to try and remove the background. But again, with this design, for example, the second one, do not copy, you may have good results because it's it's pretty, it's, it's a regular font without any like intricate designs. But with the logo, any little details like inside of the A over here, usually like background removers, especially free ones, won't be able to clean that up as you would like them. Too. Let's click on the transparent background. Let's click on download and you're just gonna save it. And let's check our results. You see, as you open it, there is no background. Now onto the second step. Let me show you how to apply it. So you open your design, you go to uploads. You will need to upload uh, your watermark. I'm gonna upload both. So once it's uploaded, you just can click on it. It will appear in your design. Adjust the sizing. You want to make sure the positioning is on top of your design. Go to position and click on forward okay? or to front. And the last step would be to go to your transparency and just play around and make it as transparent as you want. Now it's ready. You can just click on share, download your PNG file. And the second one, let's do, let's try it with the white one. Well, you see the white one, we have a white background. White watermark still covers uh, the design. Bring the watermark to the front, okay? So you see it covers all the letters, all the details. Now we're gonna make it less transparent, maybe like that. You can also like adjust the sizing, make it larger, make it smaller, you know? You can just leave transparency all the way up, but I would not recommend it because it's very hard to see your design this way. And that's pretty much it. 